Hi guys, Michelle here from Supply with our continuing series on how to apply and use our medical products. I'm here from Aspen Medical Products to explain the differences between the 631 uh, Horizon and the 637 Horizon. So, um, we first want to ask ourselves, why do we need a back brace, right? Well, we're ordering a back brace because we want to relieve our pain. Um, so how does that brace work? So for me, it's easy to, to kind of understand what happens to our spinal muscles um, when they start to become fatigued and spasm. And so imagine I were to bend over at a 45 degree angle and I was just to stay in this position for a very long time. Eventually my muscles will start to tighten and hurt. Now imagine I had a, a chair that I could rest my hands on to support some of that load. So the back brace is that chair. So the brace is designed to increase trunk stability in a small amount to help you get back to your activities of daily living that normally cause pain. So I'm going to run through the differences in the braces and then we will size the brace and fit the brace to a patient. So the 631 and the 637 will look very similar. main difference is that the 637 provides additional lateral support. So why would you need that? Well, certain motions like flexion, extension, or lateral bending can cause certain, um, certain amounts of pain. So the 637 is going to provide more support, more control, a more controlled environment for your body to heal than the 631. But let's say that we were a smaller patient um, where we didn't have a, a lot of pain when we went side to side and we wanted to control more flexion and extension, that's when a 631 would be appropriate. So, um, applying the brace. So, we will measure from in, in between our belly button and our hip and we're going to just measure our waist to determine what size we have. So once we have that measurement, we will take our instructions for use and we will determine what size we need to apply the brace. So once we have that, I will show you how to uh, put the brace on and take it off. Have my patient come over. So we want to center the back panel low and in the middle of the, of the spine. We're going to take the right side of the belt and we're going to overlap it on top of the right side. Now that we have the belt nice and tight, we don't want to be able to fit too many fingers between the belt and the body. We're going to take our pull tabs and we're just going to pull these out. Now that tightening mechanism is going to provide the compression around the muscles of your spine to provide the support and that trunk stability that you need to feel better. So, when taking the Sorry. Question. Yes. So I'm a patient at home. Mm -hmm. How exactly do you take the measurement on the brace? Can you show us how you do that? Absolutely. So you will see that there are embroidered numbers here on the brace. One, two, three, and four is down here, right? So to make the brace smaller, I'm going to take the belt and I'm going to overlap the belt. So there are little plastic teeth that will grab that Velcro. So you want to separate that and then just pull out and overlap, right? So that'll make the brace smaller. So whatever we do on one side, we're going to want to do on the other. The opposite to make it larger is just to pull it out, right? So this will get us in the largest setting here. All right, so this is going to fit when you extend one side, you're going to extend the other, and this will fit about 50 inches around the waist out of the back. Get your pull tab back here, pull the brace slightly, and that will disengage this tightening mechanism in the back. So this is the 631 and 637 by Aspen Medical. If you have any comments, please comment in the video below, and please subscribe to our channel if you like this video. Thank you. Thanks for following. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, shoot us an email at cs at or give us a call at 
8144, Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern Time.